afternoon. Welcome to another live with me, Vinod James, there, Me to the Academy. So how are you all? What are you up to? Just another week, isn't it? Just goes very, very, very quickly. Every time when I come in front of you, you wouldn't even know that it is already a week done. I'm sure that all of you would feel the same thing, isn't it? Time just rolls, right? I mean, time just goes very quickly. So really looking forward for another fruitful session with all of you. Hope uh, you're all doing good. El Shaba, after a long time. Hi, good afternoon. So there are there are names which I always know, you know, like uh, Manju Marita, good afternoon. Again on duty, Manju. Ramya Gopi again, good afternoon. So all those names are very profound names for me because I always know. Thank you for the uh, bouquet of flowers, Ramya. So how are you? How are you all? I was sure by saying doing good, okay, fair enough. How's your studies going? How do you feel? All of you. Do you feel that Betsy Matthew again? No name. Good afternoon. Priya Sunil Kumar. Good afternoon. I should be fine. Okay, fair enough. Good, good, good. Happy to hear that all of his studies are going well. Right. So, what are the things that just do? Going fantastic. Very good. So that, that's all, you know, like, uh, so happy to know that all of you are doing fantastic. So, yes, Nurses Day Award is right around the corner. Okay, we, we, we scrutinize this to the final three contestants, the two nursing students. So all are competing to each other and seeing. And I hope all of you have cast the vote. After going through their profile, please do put in your valuable words as well. Atira Sashi, good afternoon. Tomorrow I'll be writing my exam. Please pray. Bessie, am I happy to hear that you're going to write your exams tomorrow? Do not worry, prayers are always there for you and all my lovely students who are from, uh, you know, in, in different parts of the world. No matter wherever you write, our prayers, your Neetu's family's prayers will always be there for you and that will make sure that you, all of you, cross the line. Your prayers are always there. Saumya Shaidesh, good afternoon again, a new name. So for all the lovely students who are taking the exam tomorrow, all the very best for you. And make sure that you all write the exam with the utmost confidence. Do not panic, that's the most important thing. Please do not panic, even if you don't miss, if you don't get one answer, no problem. Just go along with the flow. Okay, if you're feeling tense, just take a deep breath. Right? Jiji Prajosh, good afternoon. Atira Shashi, good afternoon. So if I've missed your name, I'm very sorry, it's not deliberate. Else by intensive batch reading materials are really difficult. That is because we want to make sure that you're all ready to face so that you will not panic on the day of exam. Okay, do not worry. Just pick to your basic. Just do practice as what you're doing or how you have been told to. That will ensure that you're getting the right answer. Then if not, no problem at all, isn't it? Why? You will be corrected also and you will be guided through in order to find the right answers. Isn't it? So no problem. Take everything on a positive note. Of it. Okay. Right. So, Saumya Shijo, good afternoon. Tinti Swagar, good afternoon. Sonia Glarin, good afternoon. A very, very, very good afternoon to every one of you who brought us today. Happy Nurses Day to all of you. Okay, may you have all those things that is needed in your professional uh, needs, your professional life. Do enjoy, make the most of it. Because you all are considered to be one of the most pivotal people across the globe. 
isn't it? So do enjoy your international day today. So happy nurses to each one of you. On behalf of Neetu's family, from my bottom of our heart, happy nurses day to you. Coming back to the next important thing that is going to happen today, apart from your international nurses day, Neetu Madam is going to come today evening with her new writing depiction, AD, tonight, 10 p.m. We're really looking forward for all of you to be there. Okay, and do clarify, do prepare yourselves. Thank you, sir, for your wishes. Pleasure, Rachel. Eli Shabba. Right. So, are you all ready for today's session? Even though, you know, generally it's Friday, you all are tired after a week. But Maya Ambika, good afternoon. Bessie, thank you so much for your encouraging work. It's, it's not about, uh, you know, it is all, we know that what are you all capable enough of? Because we have seen you, we have assessed you, we have guided you through. So we know that you all have the utmost potential. It's just a matter of delivering, isn't it? Tomorrow is the day that you're going to deliver whatever that you have done so far, whatever that you have gone through. So just to give that final push, do not panic. That is where you just lose on the last day. See, it's not the test that day, that day matters. It is how you have prepared to that day matters. Okay? So do not worry. Just be confident. Be there. Go there. Read the answers. I'm sorry. Read the questions. Do understand the questions. Do how you have been doing. Do not change anything on the final step. Then stick to your answers. Helen, good afternoon. Right. So anybody attending for the first time this live? Because it is just to show the lovely students who have been sharing the link, who have been supporting us, who have been participating in the live. Just to show them that all those things that they are doing is always benefiting at least one person. A minimum. I'm just talking about the minimum. Sneha Gopi, good afternoon. And every time... I see your names and all popping in. You can see the hearts logo. You can see the hands logo. You can see the flag. So that to itself shows that what is the amount of support that you give us. Okay. Because of you only, we come every day in front of us. What are we doing in with Neetu's Academy? Neetu's Academy has an array of exams, uh, linguistic exams that we do training for. So if you want to know more insights about it, the number is right in front of you. Please do call. Our admins will be very happy to assist you. Okay. We do have regular passing. Sophia Francis, good afternoon, which as you can see on the screen, it, the next slots is available only on July, August and September. And just to let you know that seats are also fastly filling up. And we have other linguistic exams that we give training. So you want to get any insights about what are the things that we do, what are the things that you can get benefited from, please do not hesitate to contact our admin and we'll be very happy to assist. And the other important thing is about being online, being in the latest world of everything is on digital. So because you are all doing online, the world is always on a digital platform, please be aware of fraudulent people as well. You always have to think there will be always these kind of people who prey on others. That means who feed on others. I call them leeches. Where they want to rip your money. So do not respond to any such kind of messages that they are popping up or asking you to contact them. Do not, please. Okay, if you have any doubts, please do get the appropriate numbers and do give or do get the right information. Just they will come up with all these cheesy lines, you know, mesmerizing lines, you know, they'll come and say, you come do this, we will do it. It's only money, money, rippers. Please be aware of it. People are losing money. People have lost money. That is why we keep on telling you, be cautious. You are in an online platform. They come with all these different faces. So they're not those faces that you see. So please be aware of it. That is why, again, we keep on emphasizing we only have two Telegram groups because we can see that 
there are these fraudulent people just say do you have i i need speaking partner that partner this partner be aware of it because generally when a student contacts them that is not for what that they have said so be aware of such kind of thing you should know whom to contact and who's the right person okay so just be cautious we only have two telegram group one we have already pinned the official windows academy telegram page that's also a free group we do not have any other groups apart from these two okay and we will not ask for any money and all for in online you know that is all you can even gauge that those are people who are going to steal your money okay they always love to live their life with somebody else's blood that's why i told them those are leeches they come up with all the different names okay so be aware of such kind of people arya hi so are you all ready for today's session yes if so as always sanila good afternoon i'm sorry good morning so be ready for all these things that is happening with me to the academy tonight me to madam is going to come so do keep a reminder 10 pm tonight the very same page that you're watching the very same channel that you're watching please do clock in on time sinto yes ready somya is ready right so all of you have said ready 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 ramya is saying ready good now so the first what we are going to do will be doing a part b question manju merit is saying ready so the part b question will be coming on the screen as soon as it comes do not waste your valuable time sophia francis is ready sonia glaren is ready good as soon as it hits do start do not waste a single second okay read very quickly do whatever it is do find an answer and then just tell me that you have done we need to beat the time so as you have said ready no sooner the question will be popping on the screen as soon as the question pops up do not waste be very sam jos greetings thank you very much sam the greetings from me to sandri as well i have hope he's ready fair enough fair enough so as you all are ready and eagerly waiting ningal wait is done there you have the question on the screen please do the material and then we'll discuss right time so quickly so here by the time you just read time is already done that's how quickly the time runs done so me very good so hope all of you have got your own answers yes i am sure that you should be able to get at least give a wild guess ramya go be done good enough now would you be kind enough to tell me what is your answer and how you got the answer manju merit sadan 
അപ്പൊ എല്ലാരും ഒന്ന് പറയാവോ എന്താണ് നിങ്ങളുടെ ആൻസർ എവിടെ നിന്ന് ആൻസർ കിട്ടും പ്രിയ ഡാൻ സോണിയ ഡാൻ See, when we were taking this material, it was a bit interesting, isn't it? Fill in the blanks kind of question. So we thought, why not? Give it a go. Me too, Alex. Good afternoon. Thank you for the flower again. Shanti Reddy is saying B. I don't know. Tintu Saga done. No, it's not just B or A or C and E. It's where you have got the answer or how you have got the answer. That's where I am more keen about. Mini Shaji, good afternoon. Ashley saying A, fair enough, so A, B all the day, two, good. How about others? Priya Sunukumar is saying A, okay. Manju Merita is saying A. Saumya Shijo is saying A. Sophia Francis is saying A, okay. Leba Lidwin is saying A from the whole pack, okay. Tintu Sagar is saying A. Sam Jones is saying, see, now these days, am I quite happy? Because why I'm happy is because that of you, all of your comments, because you're not just sticking to, okay, many people are saying A, so I'll not tell whether I got B or C. But all of you are saying whatever that you have got. That is why. Sonia Glarin is saying A, Femi Libin is saying A, Ramya Gopi is saying C. Okay, fair enough. So generally it is A followed by C and then one B. Mini Jogan is saying A, so majority is saying A. Fair enough. Sneha Gopi is saying A. Okay. Fair enough. Now, where did you get? Only one person said you got that from the whole pair. All the others have simply said A, B, C. Now, where did you get that? That is more important. I told you. See, whether it is right or not sheri ayalum tettayil namukku evadu kitti ennalla or overall idea vet saumya is giving information about how to do like manual okay fair enough right now the question will be back on the screen okay in the meantime as you all know ningalku ella ariyam priya sunil kumar middle part okay ningalku ellarkku ariyunna oru karyam part b after part a you get part b and c together part b you will have to take only the maximum you have to take is about 10 to 12 minutes that means roughly two minutes per question 10 to 7 whole pattern okay and the only way or the safest way i wouldn't say only way there are there are students or there are different people who say no that is how you do that this is how you do Mini, I didn't see the question, sir. I'm sorry for being late. No problem. Ramya Gopi, see from the entire paragraph. See, now, this is what is called as the absolute important thing, isn't it? Ramya is saying see from the whole pack. There was, um, who said, see A from the whole pack. Shanti, I've seen only first time. Just I've seen only first time. Okay, fair enough. Now, part B. You're going to read the question, understand the question, underline the keyword of the question. Okay, that is very, 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 very important. Now, if you really look into the question, it's not a usual kind of a question. That's why we picked it up. See, it's just, see, why, why not, isn't it? Do, if, if you ask, my Ambika is also saying, see, okay, fair enough. Now, see, why not? Will this kind of a question come? It's not about whether this kind of question comes or not. If it comes, you're already tackled it. That's what our concept is. It's not about, do you really think that it will come? Even if it comes, let it come because you have already dealt with that kind of question. That's why we picked this kind of question today. Now, see, the question is clearly asking you very specifically the following. That means it is mentioned something. There's a dash model. So you are expected to find which model is the Mercury Gravity Manometer. Last paragraph. Okay, fair enough. See, now when you say this last paragraph, it's generally, see, I know what you're referring to. But this is just to bring to your attention because it is our responsibility to correct you, isn't it? It's not last paragraph because it is only one paragraph which has been given. Last sentence, maybe, if that is what you're referring to. Okay? Or last part of the paragraph. That might be another way of telling, not last para, because it's only one para. Clear? 
right? So we are expected to find some particular what kind of a model this Mercury gravity manometer. Okay, see one gravity. Okay, this is one word which you have to always remember. Okay, I'm just saying this is how I gauge about it when you get it. First one, manual calibration. Manual calibration means what? A person should do the thing. Isn't it? You have to do on your own. The other one, I told you, true gravity calibration. That means it is working on the aspect of gravity. Three, or option C, it's a wall. That means it can be wall mounted. Okay, now this is what? Three things. One is manual. The other one works on its own because of the true gravity calibration. Or is it the wall? Now, heading is important because it's clearly saying mercury gravity manometer. So definitely it has some equipment. So what type of model it is? The mercury gravity manometer consists of a calibrated cartridge glass tube that is optically clear, easy to clean, abrasion resistant. So they are talking about one thing which is having all those specifications. Okay, fair. The mercury reservoir, the mercury reservoir yeah, at the bottom of the tube communicates with the compression curve through a rubber tube. So that means it is communicating through a tube. Okay. When air pressure is exerted on the mercury, that means with the pressure being exerted in the reservoir by pumping the pressure pump, so this is the pressure pump, the mercury in the glass tube rises. So now, see, gravity to gravity calibration, no, you're adding on pressure, isn't it, from the thing. So it is not gravity kind of thing. The reservoir pumping the pump, a pressure pump, the mercury in the glass tube rises and indicate how much pressure the cuff applies against the artery. The manometer is connected to the ball for ease of accurate visualization. So where is the manometer connected? It is connected to the ball so that you have a clear vision. Now let's see how to eliminate. True gravity means it should be done with the help of gravity. This one is clearly saying it is done with the help of pressure which is being given by the pressure bulb. So for me, this is not the answer. Now two, one is wall, the other one is manual. This one is an easy eliminator because there is no manual calibration. They are not talking anything about the manual calibration, isn't it? They are simply saying it is wall mounted. It is in the wall. Understood? See, generally what happens is you are bringing your own idea about it. See, you are expected to find the answer from the given extract and it should be mentioned. So what is that talking about the manometer? The main idea or the main purpose is to show manual means guidelines. Manual means guidelines means I don't understand. Manual means human intervention. Understood. Manual is not guideline. This is talking about manual means one person have to calibrate. That is manual. Understood? So you're getting confused with unwanted things. Manual, a human intervention is used to calibrate it. That is not, see, manual calibration is that the only thing for, you are talking about, let's say, to calibration means what? It should be measured manually. Understood? So this is where that smallest misunderstanding of the question, it just changes. I got right. Yes, of course, Sam, you are the first person to say it was C. Good enough for people who have got C because there was only three who said. Now there are who are saying, but generally the first three was only three. But most of you confused with the word now clear. Thank you. Fair enough. 
See, and you are not going to get confused with the answer options. It is not going to change that it is manual. It should be either in the question or it should be mentioned in the heading somewhere. Not manual calibration. That's not about saying that it is a manual. Very good. I hope you all are clear about it now. Are you all clear? Any doubts with regards to whatever that I have told or anything that you want me to clarify again? Anything like that? No, I can see that a lot of students are now only joining. Which is quite understandable, isn't it? Why you have your job and all to look up. So no problem. So are you all clear about my explanation? Is there any doubt? Anything that you want me to clear? No. Which I'm quite sure that all of you are there. Femi is saying clear. Very good. Go to me, just no clear. Okay, good enough. Right, so are you all ready for the next part, which is part A. Are you all ready for part A? Aren't you ready to clear okay, that now? So I have already shared the Elishaba. Elishaba, clear. Inisha, you clear. Okay, well, you're all ready for part A. What is today's material? Yam in each case. Yam, sorry. Today's party. What is today's party? And how did you feel about today's material? Sneha Gopidan, Saumya Reddy. Very good. And so I know that you're all ready. You're all, you know, like brilliant students. You're always there. Any ortho topic, liver transplantation, Viji Viji Reddy. Manju Merita, eagerly waiting for the answers. Do not worry, Manju. I will never let you down because I will have. All the answers right in front of you in no time. But just to get us some insight, because when we make the next material, we need to know what are the things that we have to adjust in accordance with what you are saying. Okay, please be kind enough to let me know how you felt about today's material. Sam, thanks. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, all are saying orthotopic liver transplantation, yes. But how did you find? The material. What is your gauge about your material? What is your insights about it? How you felt while you were doing the material? Was it piece of cake? Easy? Tricky? Confusing? Doubtful? Or let's say difficult? How you felt? Give us some insights about the material. Because every time from your insights only we make sure that we come up with the Elisha is saying tricky. Okay, fair enough. How about others? I want each one of you to tell. Do not worry what, what others will feel. I want you to tell. Moderately easy. Okay, fair enough. I like that uh, phrase. Okay, moderately easy. Mini little tricky. Okay, fair enough. Manju Merita, a little bit easy, okay, fair enough. Sneha Gopi saying difficult. Okay, so it's a mix of all, isn't it? Unlike yesterday, and yesterday all of you said that it was easy. Right, now what are we to do? Part A, how are we going to do part A? If you still are, Gautami is saying little tricky, okay. If you are not aware of how to do, we have done an exclusive video. The very same page that you're watching or the very same channel that you're watching please do watch that so that you get more insights about it okay that is why we always tell all of you to just click that like button just follow us or even like the channel that you're watching so that you will not miss any of these kind of say updates that we are regularly coming up with okay now the question will be the passage will come in front of you and as you know Part A has four text. Text A, text B, text C, and text D. Okay. So, once you do that, okay, you have to understand what are the things that you do. Basically, it is about part A is more easier. Even though they say they have arranged it in a progressive form of difficulty. Part A is a bit challenging because time, yes. 
is an issue. Time is an issue because we are people who doesn't have the habit of waiting. Because we take time. We, we don't know the right way to weep. We don't know the right things to skim. That's the problem. So if you know the right thing to skim, it is not a problem. See, now today, you know that how to skim, what are the important keywords that you have to underline. Now I'm just going to tell you another important insight on the aspect of how to read. Generally, that is where the problem is. See, if you really look into a student who's going to read, they're going to read it in a very bland way. Okay, if I draw a line on the aspect of how a graph would look like if you're reading, the graph would be like this. Okay. See, if I'm reading the first sentence, okay, now I'm reading. Orthotopic liver transplantation, OLT involves the substitution of a deceased native liver with a normal liver taken from a deceased. Now see how bland it is, isn't it? It's a very monotonous kind of thing. Okay. Now, how would you do? See, you should read no matter whatever it is of course you're reading a disease condition it can be sometimes it can be there are there are disease condition which which really feels that there is no interest at all because it depends on the gravity because you know what is the gravity of the disease but what you have to understand is see you're not reading just to you know do something you're reading to ensure that you're getting the right answer so there should be some life in your reading now how would you read Okay, generally, if I read, I want to bring that interest into my reading. What will I do? How will I read? Okay, now what will I do? Orthotopic liver transplantation involves the substitution of a diseased native liver with a normal liver, one taken from the disease or living donor. Now what happened? Does it look like your ECG? Because I'm, I'm bringing, that, bringing that interest into what I'm reading. Now when I push like that, what happens is, what I read is what I understand. Understood. So this is the difference. Now, or else, or else I always tell my students, see, when you tell a story, okay, when you tell a story, or when you just imagine you are listening to a story, when you listen to a story, do you really feel interested when you are listening to the story with a vibrant way of talking or, or narrating? Or would you feel like, uh, I saw a movie yesterday. Ah, okay. What is the movie? Oh, it was a very fantastic movie. What is the movie about? Uh, it was when this person was entering, he was a person who lived in this small, suddenly he went. Now, there is no interest at all from the person's perspective, isn't it? When you listen to or neither from the person who is narrating. Because he's just narrating as if no interest. Now, when you bring that story live, Oh, that was a very fantastic movie where the hero starts with, he lives in a very shallow looking hut, but after some time, now what happened? There is that interest. Now, this is where you have to transform yourself from how you read. Understood? Yes. Did you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Did you? If so, please do let me know. Now, after that, of course, you have to go to the questions. Okay, so after skimming, I told you skimming, I'm just, I just skipped skimming today because I've been telling that for the past videos how to skip now. Now going into, and I told you the importance of knowing. Okay, Swami is saying yes, understood. Okay, fair enough. Smita is just saying understood. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, see what is the importance of. Many yes sir, understood. Okay, very good. Now, you have to know the transition. That means there are three types of question which is there. One to seven, as of now, will be match the following. Eight to fourteen will always be short answer question. Fifteen to twenty will always be fill in the blanks. You should know what the instruction for one to seven should be. You should know what the instruction for eight to fourteen and fifteen to twenty should be. Once that is done, then you won't have a problem, right? You're not going to waste your valuable time on the aspect of just reading the instructions over and over again. Okay, that is why you should always remember all the instructions are of standard thing. Whether it is, let it be reading, let it be listening, it is all of a standard thing. So you should be 
knowing and why. Now, after that, let's go and underline the keywords of the question. A major risk that may develop post-operatively among half of the recipient. So, very specifically, if you really look into half, half means 50%, may. So, where are we talking about? 50% I could see that is an easy reference. Why? 50% is only mentioned in text C. Now, do you really need to worry about whether it is there or not? Because no other area it is talking about 50%. So, that is it. I'm, I'm just going to stick to my gut feeling saying that it should be in text C. But if you want, you can always go through the other keyword, isn't it? What are the other keywords? It is as such mentioned in the closer area there. Why it is saying rejection, acute rejection episode occur in about liver transplant recipient in the first year after transplant. They usually diagnose with regard liver transplant, follow up the need of confirmed by liver. Straight answer. Proportion of patients who were not who were not getting exposed or prior to operation. So very specifically, proportion of patient. What is the proportion of patient not getting? So I know that it is there in D, isn't it? Why? Excluded. Isn't it? Not examined preoperatively. Again, so the answer should be D. This is how you refer keyword. Where to obtain full exposure abdomen chest during procedure. So they are very specifically asking where should you? So of course it is there in where? Text. B. Why, if you really look into it, is there exposure, full exposure of the abdomen and, and the chest is obtained with midline laparotomy and thoracotomy. So, very straight. Answer is sorry, B. Who designated undergone through liver transplant? So, who are designated? So, very specifically, they are asking you who. So, I know that when I skimmed, it was very specifically saying it is there in text A. Why? Because who are those? Those are people who can be treated immediately, adults and children, acute or chronic. So, all those things are very specifically said in A. So, the answer is A. Probability of having fatality is in a year. So, probability of fatality is... I know that it is only mentioned in C. So where are they talking about all these? It is done in liver transplantation again in the first year after. So probability and all those things are as such mentioned in C. So the answer is C throughout the paragraph to mention. Important phases of the procedure. So question number six it is asking you important phases. So where are the phases being mentioned? It is mentioned in text B to be very precise, isn't it? Recipient procedure. Recipient is composed of two steps: hepatectomy and liver graft, graft implantation. So the answer is B. When does this inventory form procedure get entered into the mainstream? So when when means the very straight answer when. It is said that procedure through the 1980s, so then it became the choice. So the answer is A. Understood? Now question 8 to 14, I told you it is already short answer question, where the instruction very specifically says a word, number, both, short phrase, by heart. Amidst the complication, that means which one usually develops 90 days after? So there are lots of complications. Out of the complication, what is developing after 90 days? What are the complications? Complication, I know the heading itself says in text C. So what are the complications? Now I'm looking for 90 days. Now do you have 90 days there? Yes, you have. Where? Three months. So what is the complication? Biliary complication. So the answer should be amidst the complication. So complication is already mentioned. So the answer should only be B I L I A R Y. Excellent. In which group 
question number nine. In which group we could find the greatest number of death cases? So death cases, it should definitely be in D. Why it is all talking about? So death cases, death is here number four, death is here one. So which is the group? The group is control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L. The other is quads where the death is only one. So one or four, four, that is what we are looking for. Good enough. Question number 10. The organ which has been undergoing the process of emptying or flushing out during the procedure. So which is the organ that is, you know, emptying and flushing out? So definitely the answer should be somewhere in B. Where is the answer saying? The answer is saying the gallbladder. Why? The liver is immobilized and the common bile duct is dissected with the gallbladder, emptied and flushed. So the answer is a one word answer. See, do not write gallbladder as two words, Jean Maria. It is a one word given in the extract. Do copy as such mentioned in the passage. So gallbladder is a one word. Elishaba control group is not the answer. Why group is already mentioned in the question. So please look into such kind of small, small mistakes that you make it. Again, see how many people are writing gall and bladder separate. No, you shouldn't do that. Question 11. What might happen to the liver if it is damaged through chronic alcohol consumption? Happen liver, alcohol consumption. So where are they talking about all these alcohol consumptions? And I know that it is there in text A. Now what is the thing which is saying? Where the liver becomes scarred. S-C-A-R-R-E-D. -R -R -E the case of ear persistent alcohol misuse. That's where the other things are paraphrased. Question 12. Among liver transplantation admissions, how many of them were reluctant? To remain in this study group. So how many of you them reluctant, refused, didn't want to? So where is refuse saying? Refuse is already there. The answer is two. Understood how you're referring? Yes? So the answer is just the number two. Question 13. For the process which is retrieved kept prior transplantation what transportation what is the further process so the further process okay again it is during surgery and all those things should be there so what is the procedure what is the process it is clearly saying total perfusion why the organ is taken out of the body placed on ice on a back table for further portal perfusion before transportation so all those keywords are that said the two word answer P O R T A L P E R F U S I O N. Excellent. The last question for this week in part, uh, the second set. Question 14. Which test is used to confirm or which test is used for confirming the acute rejection episode post operative people? So, test. Which is the test? They're simply talking about test in text C. Where is the test talking about? This is usually diagnosed with DNA liver function test and it's usually a follow up where the need of confirmed death with a liver biopsy. So, what is the test? Liver biopsy. L I V E R B I O P S Y. Two word answer. Now, for the next set of questions. What are the next set? These are called fill in the blanks questions where you have to pay attention a bit more cautiously because of a word, the article, let's say. And just to give you the uh, see this in the first question, the is already mentioned. Okay, now you find the area where the is there, and if you write the again, that's called redundancy because already the is there, and again you're writing, so that becomes wrong. So be aware of such kind of article issues also. The liver is rapidly removed, so rapidly removed from the body with common hepatic artery left in continually with aortic. So these are my keywords. So where are they talking about all these keywords? All these keywords are as such mentioned in text B. Okay, why? Aortic, is it mentioned? Yes, it is mentioned. Where is it mentioned? The liver is rapidly removed from the body with the common hepatic artery. All those keywords are actually with the 
celiac axis on the aortic patch. So the is still the is okay. This is all mentioned. The only thing missing is celiac axis. So C E L I A C A X I S is the answer. Excellent. The only hope for dash a person with liver failure is a liver transplantation isn't got any alternative machines to conduct the same. So something which is what are they saying? It is just very, very specifically saying about certain things. So where are they talking about all these? They're talking about the only hope for long-term survival of a person with liver transplantation where there is no alternator available. So the answer is a hyphenated word, long hyphen term survival. Very good. Now question number 18, sorry, 17. High dose, that is intravenous corticosteroids. Administer treatment option based severity, acute rejection. So where are they talking about high dose, corticosteroids? Where are they talking? It is as such mentioned in text C, corticosteroids, and all those things are mentioned in there. So what becomes the answer? The answer is in the very last sentence. What is that saying? The treatment depends on the severity of acute rejection, immunotrans immunosuppression dose, modification high dose, again keyword intravenous corticosteroid, again keyword, or polyclonal antibodies. So it is P-O-L-Y-C-L-O-N-A-L antibodies, A-N-T-I-B-O-T-I-E-S, not immunosuppressants, no. Okay. Now the next question, question number 18. In the DASH analysis, number of people included in quartz groups. So quad groups itself, we only have underlined what it is there in text. Now how many is the thing, the number of people included. So what is that? It is clearly saying in quad groups included in the intention to treat analysis, the number of people included in the crowd groups were 23. So again a hyphenated word, I-N-T-E-N-T-I-O-N hyphen 2 T-O hyphen T-R-E-A-T is the answer. Excellent. Question number 19. Along with mobilizing the common bile, they dissected as well as the gallbladder is emptied. So the gallbladder is emptied. Where are they talking about all these? I know that it is there in text B. So what is the thing which is the liver is mobilized? Very straight answer. So what becomes the answer? The answer is liver. So the ultimate question for this week. What is the ultimate question? The recovery of graft following prevented by the form of preservation injury which has been developed due to graft dysfunction. So where are they talking about all these? I know that it is there in text C. Where are they talking about? All these graft is only mentioned in text C, isn't it? So the most severe form of graft dysfunction is a primary non-function, an extreme form of preservation injury that prevents the recovery of the graft after revascularization. R-E-B-A-S-C-U-L-A-R-I-S-A-T-I-O-N is the answer. So I have wrapped as what Manju was saying, fire the answers. I have fired all the 20 answers. Now it's high time that you start firing any doubts you have or anything that you want me to clarify again or what are your total scores. That's what is very interesting. I want to see, my mini is saying 19. Very good, excellent, keep it up. How about others? Jean Maria 18, excellent, good enough, good enough. Do go on, shoot your answers, total, how much did you get? Only two people have said 19. How many are you just stunning? Do dance, do dance, 20 out of 20. Again, Ali Shubhad, 17, good enough. Nino Alex, 19, excellent, very good. How many are, thank you very much. I should be the one who should be saying thank you to all of you because it is all your effort. Anila, 18, very good. Excellent, 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 good enough, good enough. 
Right, again, just a reminder. Yamini 16, good enough, keep it up. Saumya, Shailesh, 16, good enough, good enough. So just a reminder again, do not forget to come in at clock in back on time, back on the same channel, same uh, page, tonight at 10. Ashley 17, good enough, why? Little madam is going to come with her. New writing depiction, AD case note. Alishaba, thank you for your live session. Session, thank you, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Sneha is saying 18. Excellent. Good enough. So, once again, happy Nurses Day to all my lovely students in front of me. Okay. Do make the most out of it. Do enjoy your career, which is you're all doing an exceptional job in many a way. Okay. So, I'm going to miss you all for the next two days. And we'll be coming up with the most coveted award. Ceremony is going to happen this Sunday. We all will be there and eagerly waiting to see who is going to be that proud winner of Neetu's Award, Neetu's Nurses Day Award, and the proud nursing student. So we are really thrilled. So let this Sunday, we're all going to have lovely time. Okay? And if you haven't voted yet, please do vote. Okay? Do not lose that opportunity. We will be coming and on Monday. We'll be telling you who have won that. Okay. So until I see you on Monday, adios for me. God bless you all. Take care.